First person smoothing that works with any Steam VR game with open VR capabilities. Yep, it's true. This is big news for you content creators out there. You can now capture smooth first person footage using Liv's first person stabilizing feature. If you're like me and you're kind of a noodle neck, you probably get footage like this. But now you can get footage like this. The best part is that this works with most Steam VR games, so you don't have to worry whether it's supported or not, or whether it has the Live SDK. There's only a few games so far that we found doesn't work with it. Star Wars Squadrons, most likely due to anti-cheat, Echo VR, as well as Elite Dangerous for certain DLC. As a disclaimer, yes, I do currently work for Live as the community manager. However, I'm currently transitioning into a product role, and despite the affiliation, I still really think that this is a cool feature that you're gonna wanna check out. Getting the first person stabilizer set up is super easy, barely an inconvenience. First, launch the VR game you want to capture on Steam. Next, launch Live on Steam. Then launch the first person stabilizer on Live. Add the Viver.exe as a game capture source in your broadcasting software. Click Enable Transparency in the source properties if you want to put a layer underneath this to mitigate the black bars. At your feet in your headset, mouse over the Live logo until it fills, then change the settings to your liking. You can choose from some presets or customize the zoom and amount of smoothing yourself. The further you zoom out, the more pronounced the black bars will be. I personally prefer a 40-50 mix, but feel free to play around with it. Roll lock keeps the horizon level, but you can uncheck this if you wish, such as if you want to be looking around corners. You can also select between left and right eye. For example, I'm left eye dominant, so this is my primary setting for shooters. This method of capture works pretty fantastically for TikTok content since you're gonna be cropping your video into a vertical format anyway, or you should, please, for the love of God, stop uploading horizontal content on TikTok. However, for 16 by nine recordings or streams, you might wanna find ways to mitigate the black bars. For non-live recordings, you can try what Live Creator Verocity did. He basically put a green screen under the capture source, then in post stretched out his footage, added a blur, and there you go. For live streams, you can capture the game's EXE or use the OpenVR capture plugin to capture the normal first person wobbly view, throw that underneath the stabilized view, and use the StreamFX OBS plugin to add a blur to it. I do want to let you know that Liv is also currently looking for a solution for the black bars. We're currently experimenting with taking a blurred copy of the output and putting that underneath, so keep an eye out for future updates. Besides that, some of the other things we are working on in future updates are support for both eyes, having a sharper image when scaling, larger FOV solutions, although this is a bit trickier to try to figure out, and having options for different resolutions and aspect ratios. Keep in mind that this feature is still in beta, so if you come across any issues, Feel free to let me know or reach out on the Live Discord at discord.gg slash live. As a reminder, Live is free on Steam, and besides the first-person stabilization feature, it's also well known for mixed reality and avatar capture, so feel free to check those out as well. So what do you think? Do you think this is something that you will use to replace your current method of capturing your first-person view? What do you like about it? What would you change about it? I would absolutely love to hear and I would highly appreciate your feedback. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.